Welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and this is a project you haven't seen in a while so this is the inventory series video so let's let's talk about what we're gonna do today so if we open up our inventory uh, everything's good we can walk around even and we can actually interact with the pickups we can try to pick those up you can see it got removed but it never appeared over here it never refreshed the widget we need to do that on our own the same thing goes for our backpack we need to refresh it. If we drop it, we need to refresh it again ourselves. So let's go ahead and let's fix this issue. Let's make sure that it refreshes automatically if we are able to move. Uh, I know a lot of people have already figured this part out uh, by this, this time in the series, but there's a lot of newer people who are asking these questions. So let's go ahead and let's make sure this works. So first we got to understand a couple of things. Let's go to our third person character. We're going to need that one. And also we're going to need our pickup and backpack masters so we have the pickup master and we have the backpack master now to make things a little bit easier let's talk about the pickup master first we have the pickup interaction this is what happens when we press the e key event it adds item to our inventory and then it destroys the pickup now the issue with this kind of is that this is getting ran on the server so it makes our life a little bit harder because uh, refreshing the widget itself is actually pretty simple we have the players reference so we know which player it is we already have all the functionality in our third person character we have the refresh inventory widget event which will refresh the widget for us so technically in the pickup master from the player what we could do is a simple if branch check actually we need to do that from the this one we can do a simple if branch check and then from the player we can get is UI open because this thing gets set to true whenever we have created a widget inside of the create widget function. So technically this should be just fine and then from here from the player we can run our refresh inventory widget. So our custom event right here and we need to provide it a position because who knows in which exact widget we are maybe within a chest or in a shop or who knows where we are. So let's go ahead and again from our player, let's get the widget position and plug that in to the position. So now it will, it should find the correct uh, widget to refresh the correct location. But if we compile and save this, give it a try, open up our inventory, walk up to our pickup, press E, you can see still nothing happened. That is because... Uh, in our third person character when we have the e key event interaction we have the pickup and it is running the server pickup interaction so this is getting ran on the server side and server doesn't know that the ui is open or the current widget position because he doesn't care like it's uh, we never replicated these values because they don't matter on the server side and also this event right here we can run locally and this one is getting already ran on the server so it should be just fine. So what we can do with that is actually replace this server event with the regular interface. So let's go ahead let's run our pickup interaction message and let's reconnect the pins. So we want to have the target in the target, player in the player. There we go. Now you may be wondering why then in the actually in the first place we actually created that server one. Well that was because so that we can set the server's player reference so that we can't steal the backpack so now if we would go ahead and press e pick up a pickup you can see it instantly refreshed that in our uh, in our widget now the backpack still doesn't work and also there is another issue back is that well we can steal the backpack so uh, let's go ahead and let's address those issues so the first issue is let's go ahead let's make sure that the backpack cannot be stolen so now we have again the same event pickup interaction in our backpack master and over here we are setting the player owner's reference now the issue with this is that now this is getting ran through a local event uh, which is not ran on server so it does not replicate so it does not set the owner for everybody else it only sets it for himself so let's go ahead and let's fix that issue. To fix that issue, we need to create ourselves a custom event. So I'm gonna do that over here. The location doesn't really matter, but this is the attaching. So I'm gonna do it over here. So we have a custom event and let's call this server set backpack owner. Now we gotta make sure that this thing right here is getting ran on server and this one will need two inputs. So we need the first one is the player so we want to pass along the player which is interacting with the backpack and which is going to be the owner so let's set that up third person character at least in my case and the next one is we need the actual backpack itself and the type for this one then is the backpack master 
There we go. So now we're going to pass along those two values from the backpack itself. So here on the server side, from the backpack, we can set player. Connect the execution, connect the player, and we're all good with this event. So essentially, this thing right here is exactly the same thing that we have over here. It's just that this one is getting set locally, and the other one, this one, is getting set on the server. So inside of our backpack master, let's go ahead, let's bring this piece back a little bit. Let's leave this one be because we will need this. Uh, this is useful when we set this on the client a little bit quicker. Uh, that basically saves us a little bit of a time when it comes to refreshes and all that stuff. But we still need to, after that, we need to run the server set backpack owner on this one. So let's run that. Let's plug in the player. So let's use the same player reference. So we have that one. And for the backpack, we can use the self reference. So this specific backpack right here. So now we should no longer be able to steal somebody else's backpacks. So if we have it on our back, you can see that no longer works. And the backpack is fine. It's on our back and we can no longer steal it. Now, the next thing is we got to refresh this one as well. So what I'm going to simply do is go back to the pickup master and just copy these nodes right here. So the if branch with the easy UI open widget position and the refresh inventory widget nodes. And let's copy those in at the end. Let's plug that in. There we go. So now the next thing that we want to do is let's go ahead and let's connect the players reference directly like so. Comes from the start, ends over here. So now if we hit play, let's open up our inventory, walk up to the backpack, pick it up. There we go. We can still, we, we still are not able to steal it, which is perfectly fine. And now it's refreshed it whenever we picked it up. And also whenever we pick up an item, it is going to get refreshed as well. Now, the next issue is if we drop it, well, it did not refresh for us. We need to refresh it ourselves. So let's fix that issue as well. Now, let's go back to our third person character. And we need to look for the keyboard key B event. At least that's in my case. This is the key that I'm using to drop the backpack. And so at the end of this, what we want to do is, again, pretty much the same thing. So we want to do an if branch. And we want to check whether our UI is open. We always want to check whether our UI is open because we don't want to refresh something if we if there's basically nothing to refresh, right? So if that is true, then we can run our refresh inventory widget. And for the position, we can grab our widget's position so that we know which exact widget we are in right now. There we go. So that's good. Now, one more issue is that, well, we also, this is going to refresh it, but it's going to refresh it too fast because before that we have the server event, which is destroying the backpack from the back of our character. It's spawning a new one and destroying the old one. Now, this is going to take some time because this is getting ran on server. So there are some latency issues. It's going to take a couple of milliseconds, probably. This one is going to get ran way quicker. So before we run it, let's real quick locally Let's set our backpack to non-existent. So we don't have a backpack at that point anymore. So at the end over here, let's just simply set the equipped backpack and just leave the input empty and it's going to set it back to empty. Just make sure you do it after this event, like I did over here, so that the reference of the backpack, backpack would get transferred to the server side and then we can forget about it whenever the server, or, uh, whenever the server already has that. So now let's give it another shot. Let's press I, walk up to the backpack, pick it up, drop it down. Here we go. So now our inventory is refreshing, even though we are walking around and opening it whenever it is already open. And this guy, as you can see, sees the needed items over there. So yeah, that's going to be it for uh, today's episode. Hope you found this useful. Like I said, a lot of new people have been joining, have been having all kinds of questions, including this one right here. Uh, I might come from time to time back to these series and upload a couple of more videos here and there. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, all that good stuff. And I see you on the next Friday.